Hi everybody, it's Amy from Crafty Cat, and I got a little happy mail, so I was going to open that. This is from Peggy. Thank you so much, Peggy. I haven't, I just took the sticker off the top so that we don't have addresses showing. I hope you're all having an awesome day. We are having rain, 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 rain. Still, so many days later. Some very cool plastic acetate and she wrote a note on an envelope very cool um, oh that's so nice Peggy thank you I'm sure I will enjoy using it oh so nice for you to go do a composition notebook one for me and one for my daughter that's nice so nice of you thank you so much I really appreciate it oh my goodness like a brand new are you sure you wouldn't use that that's like brand new <sighs> anyway these are really nice this um, it's like a thicker acetate than um, what you get in a lot of packaging so that's very cool and then some beautiful heart lace which is always useful and yellow this would have been very handy the other day beautiful color of yellow I love that that's kind of like the color of yellow I like and some more yellow and some nice wide lace this is fun very fun nice trim and some eyelash it's a pretty color I have some that's kind of a um like a rust color and I never use it I mean I got it for something specific I was making a needle felted giraffe for my daughter and I felted some of the eyelash into it and um, for the tail and I just haven't ever used the rest of it because it's a color I don't use a whole lot of uh, pom-poms these are awesome little white pom-poms thank you and a Xyron that's cool peel stick Wow I had a Xyron, like one of the first Xyrons. I don't know what I ever did with that. It probably is somewhere around. But anyway, if you don't know what a Xyron is, you um, can run things through and it creates a sticker. So those are super fun. Thank you. I haven't seen one of those in years. And lots of envelopes. Look at all those. That is a lot of envelopes. Oh, cards and envelopes. Okay, I see flat cards and envelopes. Those are fun. Those will be fun at Christmas time. But you could cover them and use them anytime. So thank you, thank you. That's so awesome. Love it. Oh, ooh. tacky glue. Always, always in need of that. Any kind of glue. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And, oh, the composition notebooks. That was so nice of you. They're all like decorated. Aiden, come here. she heard me. Peggy sent each of us a composition notebook that she decorated. Oh, those are so cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, um, let me see. Or I think that's what she said. I haven't put the... Yeah. Two redone composition books, one for you and one for your daughter. So... Um, I'm not sure I'll find the other one in just a minute, so stay there. Um, here's some turtle napkins. Those are fun. And then chipboard shapes. Those are super cool. Look at those. Like butterflies, and they're all textural. Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you, thank you. And uh, pumpkin napkins. Thanksgiving, you can tell. And leaves. So those will be fun to decoupage with in the fall more of those very pretty thank you so much <laughs> and frames those are fun and some green nice green fabric where did I put the yellow oh, I'll set this over here <laughs> oh did I set it under there <laughs> and then this piece of fabric 
and some tassels and lovely lace. I love the crochet lace. That is beautiful. And some more with little tiny flowers. Those are cool because you can put them. Aren't they butterflies? What do they look like? Butterflies or flowers? They, they could... look like butterflies. Okay. <laughs> I don't know either. They're cute. <laughs> They're very cute. These are fun. Look at those itty bitty pom poms. Look like tassely. Very cute. Thank you so much. I love that. Pink. And she sent me thread because she knew I needed thread. So thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> and good, good colors too. Those will go to use. I finally did get a, just a giant spool from Amazon because I, uh, I couldn't wait anymore for thread. I was out in some really uh, little ribbon there in a rubber band. There's some pink ribbon. Very nice. Oh, I almost bought some of this today. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> the leaves, those like silk leaves, um, the trim, those are fun. And some like, oh, it's like, ah, mulberry scraps. I, was, I thought it was tissue paper at first, but it's mulberry, that thicker um, handmade kind of paper. Those will be fun to play with. That's very cool. And then lime sherbet. Those are fun. Very cool. And this one's wild rose color. All different papers. Although they look a lot like those uh, ones that Stampin' Up! had out for a while. Uh, that's funny. They all kind of copy each other. Uh, thank you for letting me send you some Happy Mail. Well, thank you for sending me Happy Mail. <laughs> And some little glue bottles. Very fun. And then this is the other composition notebook. These are so cute. So you can you can pick one cute. sissy. Pick the one you like. Those are very cute. Thank you so much, Peggy. That was really super nice of you. Um, you say thank you, sis? Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> I think I like this one. I like, like that one. flowers on that one. Okay, Aiden's going to choose this one, Peggy. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and thank you for this one. It's beautiful as well. So that's that, and I will be back in just a minute with some other stuff. So thank you, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back um, after Peggy's happy mail. So um, this is where I'm at with the journal, the kitty cat journal. It's, it's getting there. It's almost done. I don't have the signatures sewn in yet, but um, I was putting ruffles on the pages and all that kind of stuff. So that's where I'm at with it. It's almost there. <clears throat> so we're going to add a few things today. And um, this is actually the next day after Peggy's Happy Mail. Thank you so much, Peggy. That was just incredibly kind of you. I decided um, to tea dye one of the envelopes that she gave me and cover it with lace. So, because I was going to do um, a different envelope, but I wanted, I like the size of these, and they look really good uh, tea dyed. So, that's where I'm at. Move my glue there. So, I have some matte medium, and I just have this plastic lid that I'm going to put some in. <clears throat> so, hope everything's going well. I know I said all that stuff already in the first part of the video, but to me, it's another day, so... <laughs> It'd be fun to do one of these, and uh, I did one of these in my last journal, um, the 55th anniversary journal. So that was super fun, and um, so I'm gonna do one in this one too. I thought it would be a nice thing, and this is nothing you know new. I'm sure other people have done this type of thing too. So it's just uh, decoupaging the lace onto. <clears throat> the envelope. Sorry, I have a frog in my throat. I think I'm going to turn it this way so I don't get too much of the glue everywhere <clears throat> that I can't seem to shake. I was having trouble with my asthma last night, so um, sometimes that happens when I have that problem because I get coughing and then my throat gets all 
messed up. <clears throat> so I just put the matte medium down and I stuck the lace here. And then I'm just going to cut around that flap if I can find my good scissors. I wanted the other ones, but these will work. I don't want it stuck to the deli paper. <laughs> So I want to kind of be careful because this is um, the piece that I'm also going to use on this part of the envelope. So, and there's probably a million easier ways to do this, but you know I always pick the hard way. I got this lace at Hobby Lobby in their sewing, you know, fabric section, and it's on a bolt, but it's really nice, um, like a dusty rose color, and so. I thought it would look pretty in this journal and others. I just try to be careful because I want to use this same piece to do the bottom part. And it's a lot easier to cut if you let it dry. But since I'm doing a video, <clears throat> I can't really do that. <clears throat> okay, so then I'm also going to put a little bit of um, matte medium on the top here so that we make sure it stays down and doesn't like, you know, snag up on things and just come off because that would be not fun. <clears throat> do so much with envelopes it's crazy I've kind of gone envelope crazy lately but um <clears throat> it's just fun there's so many things you can do Yeah, these are great envelopes, Peggy. They're a nice size and they're just a nice like, quality of envelope. Okay, now I need to flip it over because I want to do this side. So I'm going to turn this around again because it's almost dry over here. <clears throat> of course you could use a new one. And that side of the envelope will get glued down, so I guess it's not that big of a deal if it gets a little something on it. And then I'm going to take that piece that we cut and put it on here. And then you can kind of... Uh, get it on there so that it fits right. And so what I do is I cut a piece of lace that's a little bit longer and a little bit wider. That way I know... Um, hopefully, you know, I don't end up with not enough or something. And I'll be able to use those little scraps for other stuff if I can get this open. So that's the idea. And try not to seal your envelope. <laughs> I just thought I better put some of this in here. But I don't do that. Because <clears throat> I do want to get kind of, you know, up to the edge here. So that the lace sticks down nice. I don't know um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, but my daughter, after they went and got donuts, which I talked about the other day, they um, came to the house and they did a Bob Ross graduation, so they watched Bob Ross and did a painting. <laughs> they had fun. All their paintings were different because they are like, we kind of just gave up on watching him and just did our own thing. Because <laughs> as you know, if you watch Bob Ross at all, 
it's uh, very challenging. <laughs> so but they did great. They turned out awesome and they had fun. So that was all that mattered. And, you know, the cut of the envelope is different than the flap, but the flap will be down here, so this little part that isn't covered isn't a big deal. You could, if you wanted, you know, stretch it up there and make it cover it, but I don't, it doesn't, I don't think it's that big of a deal, so. I do want my whole envelope covered, though. And then kind of, like, I'm flattening it out because, um, the envelope underneath wants to ripple because of the wetness of the glue. So just make sure that it's, you know, all getting tacked down. And it does make the um, lace a little bit, I don't know, kind of hard. But I don't, I don't think it's, it's bad, especially when you're using it as a pocket. The one I did in the last journal I did on... Um, glassine envelope but uh, obviously you can do it on any anything it'll stick to basically you could do tags and all kinds of stuff that would be kind of cool I was amazed at how well it did stick to the glassine. I was a little worried it might, you know, like peel off or something, but it actually stuck down pretty well. sure that I can kind of see some spots where it looks kind of dry still so that's what I'm going over just want to make sure I get all the edges okay so that's just gonna have to dry because obviously we can't do a whole lot with it till it's dry I'm gonna set that aside And oh, I gotta go wash my brush off so it's not hard. Just a minute. Okay, so I have my collage sheet that um, we made a, a while back. And so I wanted to do a collage pocket page on one of the pages of the journal. I kind of like to do those. Just kind of fun. And this first signature doesn't have as much as the other ones, so we're gonna put it in that one. <coughs> Somewhere near the end, I think. Um, I kind of think I want to do this page. Get the good on that page. So I'm not really sure what kind of pockets I want to do, but maybe I need my book. I wrote down a bunch of them in this book that I got from Denise at one of our crafts. Uh, so I just draw little pictures and uh, describe what I am thinking of. Oh, we could do a tag one. I haven't done that in a while. Let's do that. So. I kind of want to come all the way over this way. And then this could be a pocket up here. Oh, you guys can't totally see, I'm sorry. Oh, 
And I think that about there. That'll just be like a little pocket and I may end up cutting it down a little bit more. And then tag. Make a tag out of that. And then we'll figure out the rest in a minute. So let's see. punch a hole in it just so that it has the look of a tag even though it's not you know obviously really a tag it's going to be a pocket but I just like the way that looks and we only need one of these because you're only going to see the front of the tag it on this side. Tuck in this way. This can go here, this here, and then I want to find just like a little string type thing. This actually might work really well. This is what uh, Peggy sent me, this eyelash trim. because it's thin, but it, you know, gives you a little interest there. Oh, that was way too long. tickets and things from Tracy Fox I'm trying to find. I could actually just use a real ticket. are usually supposed to, you know supposed to go in a certain spot but then when I go to look for them I can never find them. So So 
So these are from uh, Tracy Fox's Faux Femra. I have some in mind too, but I like these. These are just, you know, uh, more neutral. They don't have to go with anything in particular. Oops, cut it way up there. Not what I'm doing. Just looking for a different hole punch. To give it a little more strength, I'm going to put a little washi back there. I could use a um, an eyelet as well. I'm just going to use a washi. Uh, let's see. it again. I can see it. I really can't. I'm going to have to do it on this side. That way I know that it won't hopefully tear out of there. I mean it's always a possibility still but it needs to go the other way. I just put it in the wrong way. And I'm gonna, I need to add a few something on there. I don't know what yet, but what would be good is one of those little metal like tag things I have, and I'll have to do that after I do the rest of this. I have those little metal plate things that I got from um, BB Craft that you can punch into. So I think I'll make one of those that say cat or something and I'll hang it off of there as well and I'll show you guys when it's all all finished. I just don't have that all out right now and I don't want to make you guys wait on me to dig it out. It was one of those last minute thoughts that I get sometimes. Alright, let's get those glued down. So um, I want this to be opened on that side so I'm going to glue along the top and side of this If I can with all the fluff happening here and along the bottom. So that's just going to make a pocket right there. Maybe I should put it at the other side. Like this side instead since I did the tuck that direction right. Makes more sense. Little 
eyelashes everywhere. And I'll do this one in this direction. Then we can add some decoration to these and make some tags out of the other pieces of that. I have these pieces that are from um, Graphic 45 F dogs too, but we're not using dogs in this particular one. I have another piece. Pasha, he's laying on the floor right behind me, like right behind my feet. And then he wonders why he gets walked on. A whole bunch of other cats too. I had one that had a little girl with a cat. I don't know what I did with it. more cat stamps. Okay, hold on just a minute. All right, hi, I'm back. So I went ahead and um, got one of my little metal things. This is in plastic. My, um, I don't know what you call these, these little metal pieces that you need to, you know, pound this onto because I left mine out in the open air and it started to rust. So I keep it in plastic because I don't, you know, want it on everything else. So, sorry, I know that's real attractive, but I'm not going to buy another one. I just got that one. So, <laughs> I didn't know they did that. So, the biggest trick with these is finding, um, I'm going to move you guys a little, a little bit closer, is finding the right side because you don't want to do them upside down. And I got these from BB Craft and I got the little metal, these little tags too. So, I'm just going to make one that says cat. Hopefully, just want to make sure it's the right direction. It's really hard to tell on the C. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And I haven't done this in a while, so it could be a disaster. I don't know. Oh, there's a C. I need A. And um, if I was worried about them being totally even I would put a piece of tape you know down and all that but this one I kind of don't mind if it's a little abnormal but if you're like doing a bracelet or you know something of that nature you would want to line it up Gonna tap on the back a little because it got pretty lifted there. So I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that, but it says cat on it. Okay. So I got that at BB Craft and I will link it. And um, their prices are very good. And I got like a whole uh, little container of the metal charms. So. Okay, I don't remember where I found the metal, um, the plate that you have to stamp them into. I think I got it at 
Harbor Freight or something like that. That was a little trickier to find. Or no, I think I ordered it. I ended up ordering it off of Amazon. Because I couldn't find it at Harbor Freight. And um, they wanted astronomical prices to ship them from other places. So, because they're really heavy. So there's our little tag with a little metal ticket on there, or metal tag, I guess. I'm going to put a little glue under this because it's wanting to come undone. And I don't want it to come undone. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to put this kitty cat right here. And this will, you know, move around and maybe cover a little bit of its head or ear or whatever, but I don't think it's that big of an issue. Oh my goodness. I'm having a day, let me tell you. <clears throat> having one of those discombobulated days, so apologize for being all over the place. All right. Love these little cats. So this is one of the cats from um, my Digi Cats Meow. I just cut it out of the, you know, frame thing that it was in. This piece is from uh, Graphic 45. They're uh, raining cats and dogs that they've had out for quite a while. I just want to mess it up a little bit. I just cut her out of the tag thing that she was on. I think I'm going to make this like a little tuck spot too. To go right down in this corner here. And then I picked this cat stamp because it was a little more neutral and uh, I just thought the color was better that I'm going to put right there. And then I'll have to make a, like a tag or something and then a tag to go in there and I think I'll just cut it out of those, um, that collage sheet. I'm just going to glue two sides of this and make a little tag to go in here. I might do a little bit of glue up this way because I don't like it when it um, like gaps open. Oh, I should probably move out a little again. Sorry. It's so cute with her hugging on those. There was three kittens. I was thinking it was one, but there's three of them there. This, I'm just going to use this. I have to find my glue book. I'm really enjoying working with these cats. They crack me up. Funny. I don't know why I haven't done one sooner. I just never did. I might kind of bring that over a little bit. I kind of like the way it, it's off over there. It's just a little bit, a little bit of bun. And then I'm going to make some little tags to go in there. So that aside to dry. Okay, so we need one. We gotta measure our one that's about, let's go with five and a half. And 
five and a half by three. That's going to be the height, huh? We want to go three this way. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go a little bit more, three and a quarter. What part of it do I want? I wonder if I could make that would be too skinny of a tag. I was thinking a little tag for that other one. I'll use this bottom part. And then I can use the top for the other one. I can probably cut this one into two. So, um, one and three quarters. Okay. I can use that piece for the little tiny one in the bottom. And the other one I'm not going to cut into a tag. I'm going to leave it that shape since the, it's already being tucked into a tag shape. Okay. These can be a little shorter. Let's go to three. Uh, that one's actually fine that size. So we're going to have... One here, one here, and then the one that goes in here. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You gotta kinda, yeah, I'm gonna have to make it shorter. Forgot about that part. So let's cut a little bit more off the top. So what do we want to do with those? Let's see. Got all of our junk again. I can wrap the tail around on that. On that little one, I wonder if this little guy can uh, cover up too much. I could cut him out though. Because he is so stinking cute. I just want use them somewhere. I think that's hard to tell what's happening exactly there with this tail. So um, some of you have been asking for me to make a dog one. I'm working on it. It just um, isn't done and it'll probably be very similar as far as the layout and stuff. I mean the papers will be different but um, I'm probably going to lay it out very similarly. So if you wanted to use them together, like if you have cats and dogs, then um, you could do that. I think his little tail is tucked in there so we're going to kind of thing. That one's black and white and all these are in color but uh, looks like a black and white cat so really it's not that, not that odd. you guys this story but I had a crazy Siamese cat when I was a kid. I think I have told this story but anyway if you're new <laughs> um, that could jump like seven feet eight feet something like that um, from the floor up into the window things that were above our um, doors in a 
because we had an old Victorian house and it had like those windows up at the top of the doors um, from room to room and so he would jump up from the floor just straight from the floor like not run not anything just jump and then he also every time I would change like from my clothes into my pajamas or whatever I was just a little kid he would come tearing into my room it's like I don't know how he knew but he would climb me like a tree with his claws out and everything it was he was crazy that cat was crazy never had a cat like that crazy I mean obviously that only happened a few times and then learn to close the door because duh but um it was just the point that he did that I kind of want to put a little something else in there like a piece of washing maybe just feels like it needs a little something I want to find this one it ends up covering most of that but just adds a little bit of color down there okay and I need to ink around those and the big one I don't know yet I don't know how good I will be at doing a dog did you I've never had a dog or so it's just kind of a foreign concept to me, but like I said, I'm going to lay it out very similarly to the way these ones are, so I think it'll work out fine. not going to happen because it just is too wide. I've used that one a lot. A lot. Or I feel like I have. Maybe I actually haven't, but I like that guy. This one. The coloring of that one's good. I like this one, but it's way too wide, too. It seems like I'm always going this direction. I kind of like the color of this cat with that background. So I think that's the one I'm going to use. <laughs> Pasha. Oh my goodness, he hissed at you? I was just petting him. <laughs> what a goofball. Yeah, he's cranky today. I guess leave them alone. <sighs> hmm. Don't know what I want with that one. I want something on it. Afraid to really use fabric or anything because uh, I don't want it to get caught up in there. I mean this one has a lot going on already because it's um, all been collaged and I'll probably stitch around it too. Um, somebody was asking me about glue sticks and why I use glue sticks and if they stick. <laughs> Because I know, I totally understand why that question came about, because I've used a million different types of glue sticks, and they don't stick. But my Scotch Create, which is, this is what it look, looks like, 
seems to work really well. I mean, every once in a while, like, I'll do these whole collage sheets, which is what I did this, and it's all totally stuck. I might have to, like, glue a little bit in the corner with some art glitter glue or something, but it seems to work really well. So that's why I use that. I'm going to put this on there. Then I'll use this since we're using the lace. I want the cat to be able to stick to it. But of course, you should always use what you like using. You don't have to use what other people are using. Use what you like to use. Okay, and then I'll stitch around that one, and it will go in here. It's still a little bit tall. I'm going to take just a tiny bit more off. I'm going to go in and out of that pocket easily. Like that. So maybe I'll cut the bottom. piece of lace kind of looks like a cat got a hold of it <laughs> right so <laughs> afraid yeah that works good and then you key can peek out like that all right so I hope you guys liked that my envelope is not dry yet so you'll have to, you'll have to see that once it's all dry and in the journal which I probably will be finishing within the next couple of days so I will be getting a hold of you bet Betsy all right, guys, I hope you have a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye now.